This is what would happen if you stuck your hand inside the LHC particle accelerator. A machine so powerful some believed it would suck Earth up into a giant black hole. But surprisingly, you might, might survive. Don't believe me? The beam is only about the width of a mosquito, but it's traveling just seven miles per hour slower than the speed of light. That gives the beam the energy of an aircraft carrier moving at 10 knots. And when the LHC operators slam the beams together, it creates the greatest demolition derby in the world. While the machine was being built, some believed these collisions would be so powerful, they'd collapse matter into a black hole that would suck Earth up. Fortunately, that didn't happen. And neither would your hand become a black hole if you stuck it in this beam. Instead, the beam would punch a hole clean through. The hole in your palm would be smooth and small, only about the size of the lead in a pencil. It would hurt, but it would be the least of your concerns. Another problem would be the sound. Standing inside the LHC, you'd nearly deafen, because when the proton beam hits these carbon fiber jaws that guide its path, it sounds like large fireworks. Even worse, when the operators want to end the experiment, they use magnets to divert the beam into a graphite dump. When the proton beam slams into this block of graphite, it sounds as if a small bomb has gone off. So your ears are gonna ring, you're gonna have a hole in your hand, but then there's the radiation. The protons in this beam are traveling so fast they're fusing atoms in the air, releasing lethal quantities of gamma radiation that follow the beam like a cloud of dust following a car. The simple math would tell you that the amount of gamma radiation you would receive would be many thousands of times the lethal dose. But here's where it gets tricky. In 1978, this Russian scientist, a man by the name of Anatoly Bogokarsky, was inspecting a particle accelerator when the beam hit him in the back of the head and passed through his nose. Bogorsky later said he saw a light as bright as the thousand suns, and his colleagues quickly calculated that he received 300,000 Rutkins. That's 300 times the lethal dose of radiation. So they assumed he would sicken and die. But then something surprising happened. Bogorsky did sicken, and he suffered some facial paralysis, as well as a few seizures later in life. But he went on to finish his PhD, and is still alive today. The reason Bogorsky survived is that most of the proton beam actually passed clean through him, simply because at the atomic level, his head and your hand is mostly space. If your cells were scaled up to the size of a football stadium, the nucleus of the cell would simply be a soccer ball placed on the 50 yard line. That means it would take a few feet of human flesh to actually stop the U-70 beam that hit Bugarski. Because his head is relatively narrow, most of the beam missed him, so most of the radiation missed him, and he survived. But there's reason to believe that you might not be so lucky. The U-70 particle accelerator that hit Bugarski is less than 1% as powerful as the LHC. Secondly, the U-70 only fires a single proton shot, whereas the LHC is more like a proton machine gun. Because Bogorsky sickened from a beam less than 1% the power of the LHC, you probably would die if you stuck your hand in here. But until somebody tries, it's hard to be sure.